Well, hello. Um, it's so wonderful to be in Kim Thoman's studio today. It is December 12th, 2022. And we're going to start by looking at one of Kim's early paintings. And Kim, when you started out painting, what kinds of materials were you using here? This is a combination, actually, side by side, a real no-no, of acrylic and oil. So um, I was told this was absolutely not what I should be doing, and I am a bit of a contrarian. I've changed a bit. Um, but that's exactly what I did. I wanted the blended areas to blend nicely, and I couldn't get the acrylic to do what I wanted. So where you see there's blended areas, here and here, even the little flowers in there, it's oil. And everything has a little uh, well, there's a little tiny well, because I, to start this thing, I put down tiny, tiny little skinny pieces of uh, tape, so it looks like a coloring book. And then I do my painting, filling it, filling it in, and then I pull up the tape and then I go into the little wells, and that's acrylic. So, is yeah. there actually an edge? There's actually an edge of surface. There is around that's that's slightly raised. It's it's actually most mostly it's a little bit uh, lower. Uh huh. To press. Yeah. Yeah. To press. Okay. And and is your canvas sized or yes? And, and yes. With gesso. With, with the gesso. white gesso. And, and, and any sizing under the gesso or it's just the gesso on just the, the gesso on a on a uh huh on a bare canvas. And a cotton duck. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, so nothing is pulled away. Nothing has pulled away. We, but this is, we're talking 45 years now. Okay. But the, the um, two paints actually are side by side. There's not one over the other. So you uh, don't in most cases, away. not not on this particular one. Yeah. These are these were done side by side. Again, with that little well in between, but that, but with that little well, it's acrylic in there. So yeah, they're side by side. And do you have any um, varnish or any coating over the, it? Uh, well, not on the acrylic. The acrylic, you can see, it's very, it's very uh, matte. Um, so no varnish on this. And I think I put a, a and I can't even remember. It's so many years ago now. There may be a light uh, varnish. I can't remember what I was using back then. I'm, I, I'm really sorry about that. But you can see how it's uh, even. So clearly, clearly, I was using some. I was using some varnish, and it probably needs to be varnished again. But right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, all of these have remained in really good condition. All of them. And really how's the back of the canvas on this? It's it also. This was right after I got out of school and was doing ceramic sculpture, and my training in the 2D was not as extensive as my 3D training, and so I just sort of did what I wanted. So how would you date this painting? Uh, 80s. 80s? Yeah. Yeah, this is a whole 80s series. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did a lot, I'll just throw this out there, yeah. a lot of this was actually not even done with a paintbrush. The acrylic, uh, the acrylic part. I would use these uh, uh, plastic forks, and I would do what I call forking it. I put the I put the fork in in the uh, the acrylic, and then I would you know because this was all this was all outlined like coloring book, uh -huh. and then I'd go in there and I fork it this way and fork. And I love the the texture that I got. And I get another fork, fork it that way, fork it this way, and then this uh, uh, this, this sort of modeled kind of. Uh, Texture was was done in a, in a different way. I wasn't using the fork, wasn't forking it, but I had um, a, a, a lot of a lot of layers of acrylic paint, and then I was dabbing it to get to get something that's kind of on top of it. You can kind of see it's sort of a 
pulls it all together. So do you remember, do you recall what paints you were using, what brands of paints yeah. you were using in terms I of the acrylic? About that, if I could remember. I have, uh, I've used Golden for years, and I'll bet you I was using it back then. They've been around. Um, I think they've been around 45 years, I think so. And your oil paint? And Did oil paint, probably something like a Winsor Newton, probably. Did you, did you use yes. any um, medium? Did you use any linseed oil or turpentines mixed you in know, your paints? You know, I was doing these in uh, the room, in a room in a house. So I know I was doing a little, anything that had, I didn't have a studio at the time. So I was using anything uh, that was, uh, I don't think I ever used the turpentine, uh, you know, the non-odor, the odorless. I, I don't think I did. So... I think, if my memory serves, I think I used uh, linseed oil only. Mm -hmm. And I remember doing that for quite a few years, just the linseed oil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>